Hello and welcome to Scale Stuff. In this week's video, I'm going to be building a very old model kit, the Revel 142nd scale fishing trawler Kandahar. Before I get into this week's video, I would like to give a shout out to Grandad's and Old Man's YouTube channel for providing me with this kit to make this video. He does some great videos on his channel, which could be best described as a tinkering channel. If creating things from charity shop finds and modifying electrics is your sort of thing, Check him out, there's a couple of links in the description below. Onto the model. In the box you get the sprues to make the model, a couple of sheets containing decals and some flags, and some very old and yellowed instructions. A first look at the sprues shows them to be quite good considering their age. The parts are typical of a kit from the 70s though, and some of the details are not as fine as they would be on a modern kit. But the amount of flash and clean up is nothing to worry about. A little side note, this model kit is very old, as is pretty obvious from the faded box. I'll be very surprised if the decals in this kit still work. This is what the box art would have looked like when this kit was new. It's mad to think it would have been so bright and colourful, but has now become almost a sempia tone. Anyway. Onto the build. First thing on the menu is all of the lower hull and main deck. The kit calls for some pre-painting here, so I've pre-zapped the inside of the hull with some Tamiya Red, before I start putting the two hull pieces together. The fit here is okay but it needs the help of some tape to hold it all together. The worst area for gaps was around the rudder area, which required the firm and gentle guidance of a bulldog clip. With the lower tub drying, I carry on with the pre-painting. Here I'm painting the upper deck of the ship in Tamiya XF78, Deck Tan. It's a fairly straightforward area to paint here, but some bits are a little bit tricky to get, so I'll finish them off off screen. While the top deck's drying, I'm going to give the lower hull a quick coat of black paint. Now it's time to add the top deck of the, to the hull. The fit here isn't great. It helps to elastic band and tape the area with things under the bands and tape to help hold the deck down. With the top deck on, I'm masking off the top of the hull so I can give the lower hull a quick coat of red oxide. Hopefully I'm done for a while with the spray paint, but this is what it's looking like so far. Now onto the rear superstructure. This area goes together okay. For such an old kit, the fit is very good for the time it was made. Before moving on with the build, I decided to paint this area. Unfortunately, I forgot to turn the camera on, but there's not much to this. I picked out the main colours in Basilisk Brown, Dungeon Grey, Insignia White and Black. Now it's time to add all the little details to the rear superstructure. All nice and simple things to add here.
Once added, I gave the parts a light wash of light grey to pick out some details. With that done, I added this bit to the hull. With that added, there are a few more bits to put on the back of the trawler. I'm painting the uh, lifeboat in deck tan with a white cover. Two of the cranes are also being painted in deck tan. The lifeboat davit I'm painting in dark grey. And uh, yeah, once these are done, I add them to the back of the ship. Now moving to the front of the ship. All simple and easy here. Holes for the railings are a little bit small though, but nothing that's not easily fixed. With the front done, I add it to the main hull before moving on to the last stages of the build. For the last bit of the build, I'm going to be adding the uh, mast to the model and the side gallows for the nets. I cleaned up and assembled them both before giving them a quick blast to paint outside where I won't get high. The gallows I did in red and the masts I did in black. Adding the front mast is a little bit of a fiddle, but it goes on okay after a little faff. Anyway, with those on, that's the build stage complete. Next up, it's time to see what 50 years has done to the decals in this kit. Much to my surprise, the decals uh, floated off the carrier film and appeared to be adhering to the kit. 
Let's see if they stay on there when they're dry. Strangely, and against all odds, the decals have actually stayed on. The, the glue managed to stay. They've avoided damp for however long they've been in that box. Most of the painting of the model is done at this point. So the first thing I'm going to do here is some panel lines and a wash of water down black. After that, it's a quick go over, picking out some brown to make the boat look a little bit rusty. followed up by a dirty black-brown wash. And I think, you know, I'm going to call it that. This is the finished kit. It's a bit of a messy finish to the paint job on this model, but I'm actually quite happy with it, as I think the grimy look fits the uh, fishing trawler. I really actually enjoyed making this model kit, and it was nice to try my hand at something different. In conclusion, the Revel Fishing Trawler Kandara is an old kit but a good kit. I really enjoyed building this model. I was impressed with it, as despite its age, the model goes together very well. It has some flash to clean up though, but it's nothing to lose sleep over. I was quite surprised as to how involved this kit was, and the amount of pre-painting that needed to be done as I was making the kit. For anyone making this kit at home, pre-painting I would say is the only way to get a good finish on this model, as otherwise this kit would become a nightmare to paint with all the little nooks and crannies to get into. Because of this, I don't think this will be a great kit for a beginner, but it would make an absolutely brilliant intermediate kit. Price wise, as mentioned at the start of the video, I was gifted this kit, so it's scoring maximum points for value for money. Looking at the box, it was purchased from Oxfam at one for £1.25, which is also a bargain. I wish the charity shops around me would price models like this, as they all want retail prices for what's normally a half built blooming kit. Re releases of this model kit can be picked up for around the £15 to £20 mark. And at that price, I'd say that this kit is well worth the money. Anyway, that's my look at the Revel 142nd scale fishing trawler Kandara. As always, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and find it helpful if you're building or thinking of buying one of these kits at home. Until next time though, look after yourselves and have a good one. Goodbye.